Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, what was that? Went straight to the kissing. And when she slid yeah. off the truck? Yeah, like, who what? does she think she is? Describe Delcy one more. What? <laughs> Welcome back to Fox 13 News at 9. Brian Schnee with Kelly Chapman tonight. This year, one high school team is making history right here in the Beehive State in more ways than one. Fox 13 News reporter Aaron Cox shows us how a group of three students at Duchesne High School, they're coming together to support their teammate in overcoming all the odds against her. The state high school wrestling competition brings all these students together at the Snow College campus in Richfield. There's a group of four students who are making wrestling history for their high school. It's a big accompl accomplishment for sure because this is our first year. Three, four, five. It's the first time an all-girl wrestling team from Duchesne High School is competing. I honestly didn't expect myself to be here, but... I've improved. We all have improved so much throughout the year, and it's exciting to see the more and more improvement. All four of these girls, I feel like, have, you know, outperformed themselves a little bit. Coach Shane Ivey started the wrestling team when his daughter wanted to compete. Very rewarding as you progress and grow and grow. It's been a year of growth for all four girls, especially for Aspen Huntington. People I've wrestled have always been smaller than me, and then you get into this, and it's actually competition. Make no mistake about it, Aspen is a fierce competitor. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> you can see that determination in Aspen while she's wrestling on the mat. <laughs> but what you may not see <laughs> the limitations Aspen faces. We're all different. Like, I'm more quirky than others. The 15-year-old has been wrestling with her health since she was born. Autism, epilepsy, and cerebral palsy, to name just a few. The best way to describe it is a very emotional roller coaster. Because <laughs> you, you, you get mad, you get frustrated, you know. And especially when they're sick and you don't know <coughs> how to help them. You feel helpless a lot. So it's just, it's very emotional. <laughs> But even in the struggle, Aspen's mom, Michelle, my heart stops every time you wrestle. Believes in working for what you want. I've always taught her, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. We might just have to do it differently. And she kind of threw that back in my face <laughs> when she wanted to wrestle. I've always wanted to wrestle. Right off the bat, she came in and she had a limp to her and stuff and, and different things, you know, with her conditions. And the, your first thoughts are, you know, what can I do with this girl and how can I get her to, um, you know, be part of wrestling. After consulting with Michelle and Aspen's doctors, Coach Ivy started looking up how to coach a student with disabilities. Her desires continued to grow to be be a wrestler and continue to, to compete uh, no matter what conditions that he, she has to fight with. The whole team was surprised at Aspen's strength. I actually wrestled her and I loved it so much I just I had to do it. So who inspired her? She wrote, even though I'm a girl with disabilities, I can do anything anyone else can. My family, friends, and teachers. Aspen has inspired girls across the state. One team even came together to buy Aspen new shoes. We became besties. She has a lot of heart. Like that girl, like she's like my biggest idol. Like I like can't even like stop. Like I can't even say how much. Like she's so down to earth. Like I don't know. It takes a lot to be like that tough. And she's not just physically tough. She's mentally tough. When you're out there on the mat, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about your teammates? I want to win. If you think about it, like, even though I have all these disabilities, that doesn't really limit my, like, I was about to say it doesn't limit me mentally. If people would just give me a chance, like, I could do it. There's a lot more to Aspen than just to, you know, um, her complications. She shows everybody every day that it doesn't matter what you have. If you want to do it, you can do it, and I think 
that's what inspires everybody about her. Even though Aspen did not take home a trophy at the state competition this year, she went home knowing they made high school history for their first year as a team and first year going to state. Aspen says she is also a cheerleader and plans to continue doing both sports until she graduates. In studio, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>